Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the free assets for the month of September. Now if you are new to Unreal Engine, basically Epic Games gives away 5 free asset packs every single month. All you have to do is open up the Epic Games launcher and claim them for free and you'll own them forever. You are free to use all of these assets in your games or Unreal Engine projects for any purpose, whether that is for learning purposes or even commercial purposes. They've been doing this for many years now and if you collect them every single month, you'll amass a large library of free 3D assets that you can use for your games and projects in Unreal Engine. So in this video, we'll be checking out the free assets for this month, the month of September. There's a lot of interesting stuff this month, including this turn-based RPG template, which actually caught my eye. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, which asset pack is your favorite, and also what you might plan to use some of these assets for. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are genuinely interested into what goes into making open world games, I have a multiplayer survival game course bundle that shows you how to make a open world multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You will learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. This course has over 250 lectures which spans over 20 chapters and over 70 plus hours of course content. So check out the multiplayer survival game course bundle on my website smartpoly.teachable.com and make sure you pick up the course before I raise the price of the bundle later on. So without further ado, let's get right into the free assets. So first up, we have this old town map over here. So this is just a very simple island map, as you can see. And I can zoom around the level to give you guys an overview of it. But it looks sort of like a Mediterranean-themed pack with the buildings and the style. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on here, but I can zoom in and show you guys the quality. It's not the greatest quality. Some of the assets this month aren't super high quality, but you guys will see the rest just here in a second. But this is basically the village. So you can see what the island is made of, just all these rocks. And the map has all these collision boxes, so it kind of reminds me of some sort of CSGO map where you have to plant the bomb on one of the sites. But in the showcase level, this will show all the assets that the map is made up of. So you can see we have a lot of these smaller props to create some sort of market, different roof pieces, all the stair pieces, all sorts of props like doors, walls, windows, all different types of building pieces. Then of course you can see all the rock meshes that made up the island. Uh, these aren't really nanite detail. I can zoom up real close. So they're not really high quality or anything like that. So that is a modular old town. Next up we have this village pack. So basically this is sort of like a Russian village or something like that. Now some of these assets aren't really the best quality. As you can see, I can zoom up on the trees. They're not really high quality or anything like that. But as you can see, this is sort of a winter village. We can go inside the buildings and you can see what the cabins look like. And then we have all these, you know, telephone poles, different types of buildings. And again, they're just not really the highest quality assets, but they are assets you can use for probably making a game of some sort. So yeah, those are all the different buildings in the village. And of course you have these roads that will run through the actual village itself. So I'm gonna zoom up and give you guys an overview of the map. That's how big it is, not that large of a map. And then these are all the assets overview. So you can see all the various assets that make up this pack. And I think it actually looks better in this overview level because we don't have that post-process volume that's making everything look low quality. But yeah, these are all the different building pieces, some of the different props, and this would be perfect for creating some sort of low poly mobile game where you don't really need too much of high resolution model for creating a game like that. So yeah, those are all the different building props that come included in this village pack. There is another map over here, which again, I don't think that the post-processing volume is doing this pack much good because it looks like it just you know washes up the colors. It doesn't look as good as it does in the uh, overview. So maybe you guys can mess around with the lighting and the level, but Next up, we have this low poly nature pack, and I think it's better to just show all the assets that you get in this pack because there's a lot. So we have these modular fence pieces. So as you can see, all the assets in here are low poly. So low poly and very simple texture. They're just solid um, materials. So we have different rock walls. Back here, we have things like floating islands, cliffs, uh, background mountains, hills. Over here, there's a lot of different types of foliage. So we have things like shrubs, uh, different bushes, different types of grass. So again, these are all low poly. So I can zoom up on the mushrooms over here. And then we have things like flowers, ferns, reeds, all sorts of stuff like that. And of course, some different rock variations. And then over here, there's a lot of trees and 
uh, sticks, branches, stumps, all that stuff. So just a massive low poly pack. And of course, all the different types of trees, things like pine trees, oak trees, and much more. So yeah, that is the low poly nature pack. There are a couple of levels that showcase these assets, but they're quite simple and small. So there's not a lot going on in these levels. But next up, we have this turn-based strategy RPG template. So I have the project over here. I'm going to hit play. And basically what this is, is a top-down RPG game where we have these passive enemies. You can buy, recruit, or sell. So you can recruit them into your army. And then we have these actual enemies that you can run up to in battle. And we have sort of this turn-based gameplay. So you can drag in your different troops over here and drop them into level. And once you drop them into level, you can uh, deploy your combat, your warriors, and then start the battle. So starting the battle, you'll start out with your first turn. So you can choose where you want to move your uh, troops. So you can move them over here. And then it will be the AI's turn. So you're basically playing against the AI. And so you can see they're taking their turns. They're moving their characters. And it looks like they did their attack. And of course, you'll attack back. So this is all automatic. I'm not actually clicking on anything. And so after they do their attacks, then it'll be the second turn. So we can choose who we want to attack. So you can see I can hover over. I can do a melee attack. And it'll tell us different damage. The target is a rogue. Damage, modifiers, and the kill. So I'll go ahead and attack this guy right here and I'm actually level 7 so looks like that one overpowered him this guy's level 3 so we'll win that battle go ahead and fight this guy and he only does 9 damage and this guy is actually in trouble because this enemy is level 3 so we'll probably move him back over here and I think that should be it for our turn so it looks like this guy's turn next but as you can see this is what the turn based gameplay logic looks like you yeah, have other things like hero stats and also a complete spell book. So you can call different spells and that will summon and activate those abilities in the turn-based game. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off, I think. So as you can see, we defeated him. So let's see what happens when it's over. It says victory, tell us how much experience, gold, and also drop different items. So we'll click continue. Our character leveled up. And yeah, that's pretty much the turn-based RPG template. So look, we have interactables, so this looks like a chest that we can loot and claim items. And it looks like we have aggressive enemies, so they should automatically attack us. Although I'm not seeing where the enemies are at, it looks like they might have not spawned. And more interactables, let's interact with this one. So just a message, your mana has been restored, and then we have a boss encounter. So we have different bosses, we can click battle, and it looks like this guy... Probably has a lot more health. So again, you can just drag in your characters in and you know commence your battle. I'll click the start battle button and it will start the turn base uh, gameplay logic. So it looks like this guy has a lot more health at the top. You see 500 out of 500 HP. Well, that is the turn based strategy RPG template. There's quite a bit of logic in here that you guys can uh, dig apart in blueprints. So you can see all the different things like the spells the questing system. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is it does have a questing system. So if you talk to one of these NPCs, it'll say new quest received, and then you get a little notification in the top right, which will show you the progression of that quest. So overall, a pretty neat pack and probably one of my favorites out of all the assets that we get this month. So next up, we have this customizable interaction plugin. So in order to get this plugin, what you have to do is you have to go to your edit, plugins first download the plugin obviously and install it to your version of the engine then just search for the customizable interaction plugin and enable that once you have it enabled you want to go to your content folder and in the plugins engine plugins folder you want to make sure that you have this show engine and show plugin content then you can search for interaction and open up this uh, demo level so this is the demo level this will show what the plugin has to offer so it's just a very simple interaction system. So you can see if I go walk up to one of these little spheres, I can press E to collect them. These are simple collectibles. They just have a simple interactable widget on it. We have physics simulation, so I can go to this door and press E. I have to hold it. That will open the door. Hold it again. That will close the door. And here's all the controls. So E to interact, C to change the detection mode. 
T to toggle the debug view so you can see all the traces being done. Let's open this door and in here we have these spheres we can push or pull. So I press E, I can interact with it. So just a very simple interaction system, not a whole lot in this project itself. And there's a lot more different types of blueprints you guys can mess around with in here. But overall, I don't really think I'll be using this because interaction systems aren't too difficult to implement yourself. But yeah, those are all the free assets that you get for this month, the month of September. There's not a whole lot of asset packs this month and overall the quality wasn't that great. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, which asset pack you thought was the best one out of all the ones that we reviewed and which one you might likely be using in your Unreal Engine projects. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.